Hey, Janet. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to do it in landscape mode, but I don't know. I had my phone turned in landscape mode and it was showing sideways. So we'll just do it this way. It looks really crooked. <laughs> um, and I'm kind of glad no one's on yet, or except us. <laughs> or no, I guess there's six people on. So you guys bear with me while I get this like figured out here. Does anybody know how to switch it to the other, like, so that it's horizontal? Anyway, that may be just what we have to do until I can figure it out. I just don't like you can see my cord hanging down there and mm, it looks crooked. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just, I kind of figured I would just um, keep it kind of, I don't know, chill for my first time doing this <laughs> by myself. Um, so I appreciate you if you're watching and I'll save it um, so that it'll be available if you wanna watch it later. And I have some happy mail that I got that I wanted to kind of go through. I got this, um, oh, the past week, I think. Um, and then I just wanted to do a quick flip through of um, the, my junk journal, July, a um, couple days left of that. And then my uh, journal that I made here too. So that's kind of the plan for today. And I'm probably not gonna be on like super long, um, you know, just, Kind of trying to get my feet wet a little bit and yeah oh thank you janet i appreciate that yeah my first time doing this i'm like um i don't know how to do this exactly <laughs> so had to go live the regular way and yeah hopefully it'll get better easier <laughs> so um yeah so i had some happy mail and I I got one from Sharon Lombard so that was super sweet and then I think this one is from um, Janet in the UK so but I'm not sure because she did put her name on it but I haven't flipped through I haven't actually opened it so maybe there's a little note on the inside too so but yeah Janet Nash is who I think this one is from and then I got uh, this one from Beth Schuler, and I had to peek in here because on the back she wrote, ask me to show you my napkin journals. And uh, I think I remember her talking about that, the napkin journal that she has. I thought that was a really neat idea to keep those organized. So, so that's my Happy Mail stack that I've got for this week. Um, and open this and I, I thought this washi was really cute they look like little stamps and I took one off already and used it in my junk journal uh, one of my junk journal spreads for this week so very cute and then the stamps are cute too and you know what I thought was weird there's no um like, like post marking on here like where they do they do the like cancellation or whatever so I thought that was strange and look at this cute stack of napkins oh yay oh that was so sweet of you to send me this Beth because I had been um I didn't really have very many napkins I just had a couple um uh, that I found at the Dollar Tree and then uh, I went to a different one that's a bigger store and um they had a few more but yeah so this is really good kind of start out my stash so I've got some really cute lemons Oh, this is pretty, look at that. That's very cool. And I found out too, I had done a napkin or used a napkin in my one of my spreads from a junk journal July. 
and I used Mod Podge and it was um, very sticky. It's still sticky, so it's kind of annoying. But then I learned that you had to kind of water it down a little bit and then I was like, well, I have some Elmer school, school glue, so I decided to just water some of that down and use that instead on another spread that I used. That worked out a lot better, so. But that's pretty. And I will tell you too that my dog is uh, sleeping next to me and she's she snore well she's not actually snoring she's just breathing really loudly so if you hear if you hear loud breathing then sorry it's probably really annoying but she always sits down here with me when I am down here in my craft room so and then yeah I'm downstairs and so if you hear walking around and banging around on the ceiling that's yeah my kids upstairs so um, that's really pretty. That very summery. Oh, cute. That's pretty. All the cats. Oh, this is neat. And I noticed too, some of the napkins that I bought from, hold on one sec. Jaden, Jaden, come here. It's even getting on my nerves. Okay. Um, the na napkins that I bought from Dollar Tree, the designs are always only in the corners, like this corner and then this corner. So I thought that was kind of, yeah, was not what I was expecting, but it's, you know, I can still, you know, cut around the image and use it to glue down. So, oh, cute. <laughs> Little Eiffel Tower. This is gonna be perfect for my, um, I'm making a pink and black journal. I was um, inspired by Linda Israel. She made one last year. So um, I have everything ready. I just need to get it put together. So that'll be perfect to use in that. Watermelons, so cute. And the seahorses. <laughs> oh, thank you, Beth. That was very sweet of you to send that to me get my napkin my napkin stash going and here's the one from I think from Janet Nash and I love this how she decorated this envelope I always you know when I send happy mail I'm always like oh, I want to do something cute on the envelope and then I can never think of anything when it comes time to actually like decorate it and make it so I'm working on it I just, and then I'm always like, you know, does the post office get annoyed that we stick stuff on our envelopes? <laughs> like washi tape and stuff. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. This washi is really cute. This little sloth washi. I'm trying to get it up here without destroying the package. The little camera image there that's cute little looks like um maybe some just a uh, paint that she used like a stamp on oh an ultra plain card oh yeah janet nash oh thank you janet that's cute love that and then a little washi sample the sloth washi that's so cute oh thank you janet Everybody is so sweet in this community. Have you guys noticed that? Like, I love it. All right, and this one's from Sharon Lombard. That is pretty. Look at that. I don't know if that's gonna pick up on the camera. Again, I apologize that it's, that the video is vertical and not horizontal. That's probably really annoying. I don't know, sorry. Couldn't figure that out. <laughs> oh, cute. Baby time. Little babies. Butterfly. I'm pretty. Save those for my pink and black journal. So many goodies. I feel really just really lucky to have found um, this whole 
group of ladies that do the live streaming and stuff like that. It's something I've always been interested in, but um, kind of just nervous to do. Like today I was super nervous. We had to go get groceries and all I could think about was, you know, <laughs> yeah, making sure everything went well and yeah, so anywho. But everybody's been very helpful and welcoming, so. Lots of journaling goodies. Oh, those are neat little um, letter stickers. Like little washi stickers, cute. All right, so that's my little Happy Mail stack for the week. Um, and then I wanted to just kind of talk about this journal a little bit. Um, when I went live with Beth um, last month, was it June? Anyway, um, I had shown this and it was blank, you know, just plain on the front. I had the fabric on it, but um, didn't have anything else and I just really wasn't sure what to do. And so, oh, hi, Carol. Sorry, I wasn't watching the chat. Thank you for being here. Yeah, Janet, decorating the envelopes. Yeah, I like I said, I love it. Like when I look at other people's envelopes and I'm like, that's so cute, why didn't I think of that? And then I just, I put some stickers on it or some washi or something, but yeah. And handmade envelopes too, which I think is probably the one that Janet used. It's probably a handmade one maybe. The paper is kind of textured and just really cool, so. Okay, so yeah, um, I didn't have anything on here as far as like decoration. And so what I did is I just ended up going through my stash and I'm like, I'm not buying anything, you know. <laughs> and um, I found, okay, well I did buy one thing but not specifically for the journal itself. But I bought some um, Sari Silk, like a, um, it's uh, from a lady on Etsy, let me grab it here. It's like a whole, um, I think it was 30, 30 um, individual pieces, but all different like colors and stuff. Cause I wanted to have um, just kind of a good assortment of it. And then I also bought some that's just uh, like a cream color too. And then I was gonna either use it like it is or um, dye it, so. Which I need to watch some YouTube videos on how to dye Sorry Silk because that is definitely not in my wheelhouse, so. But I'll put a link below if you guys want a, a link for the shop that I that I bought this from. She shipped it like immediately and um, it got to me within just a couple days. Love that. So, okay, so that, that was the, the one thing that I bought that I used on the front of the journal. So, um, so I just, I kind of, I sat down one day and I just went through everything and I'm like, okay, pulling some stuff out what I wanted to use. Um, and I thought that this piece of Sorry Silk matched perfectly all the kind of tones I was going for. And when I made this, I wanted to make it, um, I know, right, Janet? The Sorry Silk is so pretty. I know, it's like, yeah. And I I know that people, I, I just, I wonder where people get, like, can you can you just buy it like that? I guess I haven't really looked. Like, like, do they buy it like you buy fabric and then they just kind of cut it up and sell it? But it's so pretty and I feel like it just really adds um, it just adds something. It, it's, I, I love the texture of it, I guess, and how it's like crinkly and like kind of frayed and stuff. It's just, it's really pretty. Uh, yeah, white envelopes are not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I had uh, some images from um, my porch prints. So that's where the flower is from and then the butterfly as well. So I fussy cut those out and then this journal uh, piece here is from Calico Collage. And then I just layered it with some lace, some fabric, did a little bit of cheesecloth on the underneath. Um, but the first thing I put down was this uh, like handkerchief type material and there was two smaller ones and um, they're like rectangle shaped and then there's a bigger one that's rectangle shaped as well. Um, and they're so pretty and I hated like covering the majority of it up, but you can still see it on the back as well. So I, I thought that was okay. But so I just, I layered that on there. Um, and then I wanted to have a little bit of it hanging off cause you know, just kinda 
cool that way. I don't know. I've just tried to learn like not everything has to be perfectly laid out, you know. <laughs> I struggle with that. Uh, that's why the junk journaling is so good for me because I've kind of learned that, that it's okay if things aren't perfect. So, um, so I, I put that little, I don't know, even know what it was. It, they weren't like placemats. They were too small to be placemats. Um, and obviously they're not hankies because they've got holes in them. So I don't know what they were, but um, I got them from the thrift store for like a dollar. And then the lace, I put that down um, kind of on the... Uh, spine here wrapped it around the back and yeah my my porch prints um no it was an etsy download yeah i um had bought them uh, a couple of months ago so I'll, I'll put a link down there to their shop below um but i liked them because they were like the neutral you know colors and that's kind of the vibe i was going for because i wanted to have the journal itself be neutral and then as i work through it i can add whatever I want and then I'm not um because like with my with this one for drunk journal July um the the cover like I find myself thinking you know okay well can I do that color on the spread because the cover is blue and there's like a whole you know color scheme on the front with the pink or mauve color and so but it hasn't bothered me too much I've pretty much done every color in there <laughs> but yeah I did want this one to be neutral so yeah, you're welcome. Um, and then I had this, uh, this was actually a curtain, like lace that was on a piece of fabric that they had used for curtains. Also got those at the um, thrift store. And it was like the, a mauve color um, curtain, just a plain like cotton curtain. So I just um, took the lace off and then cut a strip uh, long enough to fit on there and then put that on top and I just oh, I love that that's probably my favorite part of this journal it's just uh, all the detail and the texture and stuff it's just really pretty so and it was actually this color that's the other thing too that I struggled with was um you know the fabric that I used um is it looks dirty but it's that way on the whole thing and I, there's like um, the piece of fabric is massive. So the whole thing is like that. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be that way, but it looks, it looks like it's dirty, which is perfect for what I wanted. Um, and then I was like, okay, I don't want it to all be the same tone. Right. So I've got the lighter, um, ivory color here. Then this, this is a little bit more aged and then kind of all the different, all the different neutral tones. Um, and then on the spine, I, I don't remember who I saw do this. Maybe it was my porch prints and they have a ton of tutorials on their, um, YouTube channel of, um, how to make junk journals and different techniques and stuff. And, um, so I, I don't remember exactly where it was that I saw it, but they took fabric and tied it around the spine. And then I just gathered it with another piece of that fabric and tied a knot. And then I've got this little, um, these little beads right here. They don't want to stay on there <laughs> so you can see them. Um, these beads actually, so my, my grandma had, I got her jewelry box and she actually passed away in 1980, 89. Um, but I had two of her jewelry boxes that it was just costume jewelry. And so I kind of, um, rated that and I thought you know what they're just sitting there I should definitely use them so yeah they do have a YouTube channel it's and their their tutorials are awesome they're very like thorough and the pace is really good you know so like it's easy to easy to follow it they don't go so like super fast and they cover everything so it's really really helpful um yeah so then I just got some beads to put on there I don't know if I love that there it's kind of dangly and I don't know it's it's cool when it's sitting upright right because it looks pretty and it hangs down perfectly but when it's laying down it just it like hits the table and I don't know and then I just um tied some black ribbon on there and then the sorry silk that I'm using as the tie the closure is just um 
like stuck under there through that. So, but yeah, and then the, I showed the back already. <laughs> Jaden. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah, you sub to them. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. It's it's really helpful and they're fun. It's a mother and daughter together, and uh, they so they take turns doing the videos. Then I kind of showed the back here a little bit already. So that's that. So I like it. And I'm having a lot of fun working in it. Um, my daughter was like, why do you have all these journals? She's 17. And um, she is a bullet journaler. Although she just bought an Erin Condren. This is, she's going into her senior year of high school. And um, she decided she wanted to try an Erin Condren. So she's going that route this year. So, but she's very, um, she like junk journals and things like that. Just, she likes very clean lines and very orderly. She's like my husband in that way. And I'm like, just put all the stuff, the more the better. <laughs> so anyway, um, she was like, why do you have all those journals? And I was like, well, I mean, cause maybe you don't wanna, maybe you don't feel like working in this journal one day. And so I'll work in another one and you know, it should, yeah, it's, if you know, you know, right? With having multiple journals at any given time. So, um, so then just to kind of show you some things I've been working on in here, I um, I was sent this little trifold um, envelope thingy a while back, and I just kind of been saving it because I really wasn't sure what to do with it, but I thought, you know what? It's gonna be perfect in this front envelope. And on that live that I did with Beth, I had talked about, I didn't know what to do with this book page that I used to make the spine. And what I ended up doing was just leaving it. I here's, you can see one of those fabrics that's tied around the spine. It kind of covers it up a little bit. This is stuck in there and it, it, you know what? Once I got everything put in here, it didn't even bother me. So I'm just leaving it that way. Oh, let me scooch over a little bit. See, this is what I don't like about the vertical view is that your screen is so small. So that's, hopefully that's better. Okay. And then I had some burlap pieces that came in a, um, like a little baggie from the thrift store that I got, um, for a dollar. And, uh, so I made a little pocket with that and I had an extra piece of that lace that I had put on the front. So I just, Put that right there because I don't want it to go to waste so. uh, and then just kind of some things I've been working in basically what I've done is when I feel like you know doing something in my journal I'll just like find a page and work on it so then I'm not really um, it, it's kind of just it happens organically instead of like forcing myself like I will say that the junk journal July I've really enjoyed that Oh, bye, Carol. Thanks for being here. Um, the Junk Journal July has been really good because it's the prompts are so helpful. Um, and I, I was doing videos every day. And if, <laughs> if you watched my uh, channel or um, my community tab, I posted in there, I was just getting like totally burnt out. That's all I was doing is filming videos and editing them. And was like okay so I took a little break um but I've still been working in it but I said all that to make my point that I um the structure of having a prompt every day is really good and helpful but um it's just so chunky <laughs> but you know it's like structured which is good but also I like non-structure too so I'm one of those people. <laughs> so when I get the urge to just do something creative and get an idea or whatever, I'll just pull this out and flip to a page and work on it. Like here, I um, just did some lace that was from, I think it was from like a curtain, um, not a curtain, but what are those called? Oh, like a balance, you know, that goes at the top. Um, Dutch lace, I got a ton of Dutch lace, which I'm super excited about different um, designs. So I just had cut a piece off of that, glued that down, and then um, this little piece of fabric here. And then I hand stitched down some of that sari silk. And uh, 
it's so so wonky but I kind of like that because I could never I, I, I don't sew a lot and so um, when I do sew it's very crooked anyway this is like it's supposed to be crooked <laughs> so, then I don't stress myself out about it uh, and then yeah so I had kind of flipped through the pages in that last live but um, I've just kind of added some things here and there um, just a little piece of lace there and then some pages that I did I um, am loving so I got this from watching Meg journals for the uh, junk journal of July and one of the things that she does is she stitches on her pages and I did it the first time in my um, July journal and I was like, okay, that's amazing. I love it. And so I added a little bit down here. I did another page in the back like that. Yeah, so then I just have this little tag stuck in here. And this is more of that Dutch lace balance that was, actually, I think this is the piece, I had cut off a piece and then I had this and then that little scrap left over, so. And just kind of put some lace in here and there. I didn't want it to be like completely, you know, blank. Um, so that when I open it, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. Let's work on that page. So, but sometimes, you know, you're in the mood to just kind of start a page from scratch. So, and this page, um, I just had some scraps, basically fabric scraps and paper that I just kind of collaged down and then had this uh, sticker from Adorably Amy Designs and um, she has these really great, um, I think they're called typography is what they're, she has them listed on her website and I'll put a link for that below. Um, and uh, you can get white or the clear. So I love the clear for the journaling. And then these flowers are from Jenny May June and the butterfly, I can't remember whether this is from my porch prints or um, Calico collage, but really pretty colors. And then this, I just, um, this image here is from my Patreon for July. And then I had some paper scraps, I'm trying to use up those scraps. I talk about it all the time, but the scrap bucket is just insane. <laughs> so I try to use them as much as I can. And my fabrics too, like my um, bin that I keep all my fabric scraps in crazy. And then flower from Jenny Mae June's Happy Mail from her Patreon. And then I had a little bit of that fabric left over from this page that I did. It was actually the um, the edge of it. It's folded over. And so I just glued that down. And this, there's still the stitching on it, so it actually looks like it's sewn down. But it's not, because I'm a cheater. <laughs> and here you can see, this is the end of that first signature, and so you can see the other um, little thread there. You can see one of the other ties. Just glued some lace down. Got, um, this is my porch prints, I believe. Uh, and this one is as well. Lots of scraps. And this, I, um, this was from Jenny Mae June's Happy Mail and I made it into a little pocket. I don't have anything in it yet. <laughs> That's okay. And then I made like a little snippet thing or whatever with some fabrics and lace, different things. And I actually did some sewing two times. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't sew it to the page itself because it was already, the page was, the book was already bound. But I sewed all the pieces together on a piece of uh, book page just to kind of give it a little bit of stability. And I think that's all that I've done in here as far as pages go. Oh, I've got a little bit of goodness there that I added. And then just some lace here and there. I did add this um, doily to the back of um, the page here. And I didn't, so I glued this part down, but I didn't end up gluing this down. So um, I don't know, I might end up doing that, but I kind of like it just floppy. And I was going to put a pocket back here, which I may still do with, um, I don't know, some fabric or lace or something just to kind of have another pocket. 
in the back. Or maybe I should do the um, burlap fabric stuff that I did in the front. Let me know what you guys think, which one I should do. If I should repeat the um, burlap fabric or use something different. Oh, and I didn't talk about this one. This actually was inside of this envelope and it's like a little flip book, which I thought was really cute. And I love the paper, it's beautiful. Like I said, I've had that for a long time. I, I don't even remember it was one of the junk journal groups that I'm in. Or maybe I, yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember what, what even, what Facebook group it was in. I'm in so many Facebook groups. Anybody else in like a million, <laughs> a million Facebook groups get all the, uh, all the inspiration. All right, and then I had already shown like the first uh, two weeks of this on my, um, either I, I did a video flip through of the first week. And then of course I had the videos of um, like the journal with me's or whatever for the rest of them. Yeah, sewing does make it special. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm, I'm learning. My sewing, sewing machine is like, I have a love hate relationship with it because I don't understand it. Like I don't understand even threading it makes me nervous. So I, I wanna get, it's a hand-me-down one that I, um, that I got and so it's yeah I kind of want to get a new one I think I'm gonna put it on my birthday list and see <laughs> burlap with white lace on top oh that would be pretty that's a good idea yeah I'll have to do that that'd be really pretty um so yeah I did some of the journal with me's here on these pages I think I had remember if I, I don't think I did this one on camera so um and I had made this pocket here I haven't put anything in it yet because I just kind of wasn't really sure but and then this was the second page that I did with the napkin and I found these at the thrift store um it was a set of like plastic placemats with the same print and then it had um some napkins in it. And um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the plastic placemat because and they're really pretty, but I don't know what to do with them. So I need ideas for that too. <laughs> um, and this was texture, that was the prompt for this day. And the napkins itself had like this crackly background. And so I thought that was just perfect. And so I tore it in half, kind of tore some edges, whatever glued them down. And then here I just did some, um, uh, it's like a tissue paper, like pack, it's not packaging paper. Um, I don't know. It's like tan tissue paper, but I don't remember. I feel like it came in a package, but I, I don't know. So, but I like to use that just to kind of give the book pages a little bit of color. So, and then did some lace and I decided to use um, the same yarn here as I did on this side over here and then just um, like threaded it through the ribbon itself with that down. And I was gonna make these pockets and I was like, no, I'm just gonna glue the lace down itself and, and let it kind of speak for itself, so. Oh, a jelly plate. I just got a jelly plate. I was gifted a jelly plate and a brayer, and I've been having a lot of fun with that. So, oh, use the plastic placemat as a jelly plate. Oh, an open design. It's not open design, yeah, unfortunately, because then, right, you could use it to do like coffee dyeing and stuff. Um, yeah, it's so it's just like a. Um, solid piece, solid design, a fun journal cover. Yeah, but it'll be, I need to maybe like figure out how I can like cut it down because it's like a full, full size placemat. Um, but maybe I can like fold the edges over to, you know, kind of, so I don't have to cut it because the design itself will be kind of 
messed up there. So yeah, that was fun page. And then the little um, lace that I glued down, all the texture. <laughs> and then uh, this was the theme for this page, or the prompt was uh, one-sided. You like to create gel prints? Yeah, it's so much fun. I had, um, I did a bunch and then I um, posted two of them to my Patreons uh, as like extra sheets for the month of July. And I was like, oh, I really hope that people like these because <laughs> I think they're super fun. I was like, well, we'll just, we'll just see. So, but yeah, it's, it's a fun thing to do. And I, <laughs> I told my husband, um, I was showing them to him and I'm like, yeah, when you mix um, orange and green, uh, it usually it can make mud. <laughs> so that was, some of the pages look like mud. And I was like, well, I remember watching Cat hand um, her uh, like Jelly Plate 101 videos. And um, I think she said something like, you know, don't, don't ever throw it away just because you don't like it. Just add more stuff on it. So what I ended up doing was she had shown how she drew like flowers and leaves and stuff on top of the jelly print. And then, um, you don't notice that it looks like mud. <laughs> so it was fun. Yeah. Journal cover or a pouch. Oh, a pouch. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. Cause I can like sew it, sew the edges together. Yes. That's a good idea. I like that. See, so helpful. I would have never thought to do that. That's a great idea. Um, yeah, so I just had some uh, images from Happy Mail from um, Pocket Journal Pam. This is from Jenny May June. Uh, this is just a paper that I had made, a little scrap that was left over. This, um, it's like tissue paper that has like some kind of ink dye on it or something. Um, that kind of made the, the ink look like that. I don't know. I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> yeah, the more layers, the better. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and then this page was my go-to palette. And I thought, you know what? I really don't have like a go-to palette because, I, well, well, pink usually. If, if, if I'm in doubt, I'll pick pink. Lately, it's been blue. I've been really drawn to blue. So I just did basically pink on here with some black and then little touches of other colors. Cause honestly, I like all colors. So it's, it's really hard to choose, but I do gravitate towards pink, uh, purple, <laughs> blue. So, and these were really fun. Um, I kind of, I had, they're two different, um, prompts. This is uh, day 18. This is day 19, but I wanted them. And this is, this is how my brain works. When you can, when you open it up and you see the spread, like these, these don't go together, but they like complement, right? They don't like clash. At least for me, when I see it, I don't feel like they clash. My daughter, if I asked her, she'd be like, that's horrible. <laughs> Why do you add so much stuff? <laughs> but, um, like for me, it, it's, that works. But then on this page, I was like, well, I've got this purple here. If I do like some rando color over here, it might look weird. So I ended up just kind of creating the same kind of color palette on both pages. And I had um, some yarn scraps from, I don't remember where I used, I used this yarn somewhere. And I had um, some like leftover bits. So I just kind of made a little, I don't know. It's not really a flower. It kind of looks like a heart. <laughs> I don't know what we call that. Um, anyway, stapled that down. And then I hot glued a little piece of uh, lace that I had cut off. Like It's like a little, kind of looks like a flower. Um, and just glued that down onto that page. Do some journaling on there. And then, oh, this flower or this little piece here. Oh, it's about to come off actually came from this piece of lace here. It's one of these little doohickeys. So, and this, the um, prompt for this page was cut out and I had um, 
an envelope. That's what it started with. I had this envelope, which you really, it's really kind of hard to see it because I covered it with collage papers and stuff. But, um, and then I had this fussy cut flower from my porch prints that I um, glued down on the inside on a book page. And then the little butterfly here. And then, like I said, I just did some collage around there. Um, the flower, this flower here, I had, um, is also from my porch prints and I printed it out in black and white and it almost looks like it's on cardboard. It's really strange, but I was like, well, I, I wanted to add a flower here, but I didn't want it to like, yeah. So I thought that would be kind of cool there. And then I just have some stuff stuck in there, journaling cards. Uh, this was black and white, my black and white spread. And I tried, okay, I have these stencils and I was trying to do um, like where you use the, the stencil and you put paint down. And you, the, I don't know, I'm still learning how to do all this stuff, but oh, thank you, Janet. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm getting more comfortable showing my journaling pages this last year. Um, I used to be really nervous to show them because they're so personal. And I mean, I, I know that we're our own best critics, you know, but, um, so just like here where I'm critiquing this already about myself. Um, and I know I see other people do it too, where they're like, this page, <laughs> this page is horrible. And, and I look at it and I'm like, Oh, I think it's kind of cool. So try not to be too hard on myself, but yeah. So that stencil design really didn't work very well, but I actually started by putting down a, this um, black and white checker is a napkin. And then I had, so I had a piece there. I put a piece down here. And you know, when you peel the napkins apart, the part that you peel off, um, it had a little bit of the um, design, that checkered design kind of left on it. I thought, well, that's kind of cool. So I glued part of that down, this little bird that I stamped, and then this flower is from my porch prints. Uh, this girl here is from some Happy Mail from Pocket Journal Pam from her Patreon. Um, and this page I did, so the prompt was focus and it kind of had me stumped and I was like, you know, what? I think I'm overthinking this, which I like to overthink things. Um, I thought, you know what? Focus, focus on like, let's make it more of a, um, not really focus, like a camera would focus, you know, but more like, let's focus on what's important. And so I remembered I had this. Um, little journaling thing here from my Patreon from July. It says, take a deep breath and just enjoy your life. And I was like, that's perfect. Focus on that. Just enjoy your life. And then this book page I made um, for my Patreons from July as well. That was, I had a lot of fun doing that, layering the flower print on there. And then I just have some cheesecloth. And this is the first page that I did the stitching on and I was hooked. So really enjoying that. So I did the, like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of crooked, whatever, but blanket stitch, I guess is what you call it. I don't know. <laughs> and then I just did some regular stitching at the top. Uh, and then here is, um, the, um, prompt was blended. I really struggled with this one, really. And I got some texture paste from texture paste from Tim Holtz, but it's the crackle, which I didn't read it. So <laughs> the, the, I did a little um, bit of the texture paste with my stencil and then it's like all crackly, which is cool. Like if that's the look you're going for, but that really wasn't the look I was going for. <laughs> um, anyway, so I ended up kind of pushing that to the background with some scraps and some lace. I've got this little textured journaling card here and then just some lace at the bottom. And then uh, this page over here, I had made a pocket. I glued two of the book pages together. I made a pocket and slipped that card in there. 
And I want to add some kind of like, um, a, like little pull tab thingy on there. I'm just not quite sure what I want to do on there yet. And then, yeah, just added some book page that I had stamped over, uh, or dictionary page, I guess. And then this little bird is from Jenny Mae June's Happy Meal from June, I think. Yeah, because, yeah, I think she's just getting ready to send out July's. And lots of scraps, because, you know, use the scraps. <laughs> so this page, the, the prompt for this page was um, maximalism. And I was like, okay, that's like my whole journal is maximalism. Like, more is more. <laughs> um, so I just went with it. And I had some some more book page that I had stamped over, put that down, and then layered some of that fabric. It has like some really pretty hydrangeas on it. A little uh, extra bit over here, some fiber. Uh, and then this one, paint splatters. This was fun. Um, I used some gold. It's probably not gonna show up really well on camera, but I used some gold uh, acrylic paint to make my splatters. Um, this green paper here was from um, some scraps that I had left over. I had sent, um, I have a tier on my um, Patreon page. Uh, it's a Happy Meal tier. So every month, every month I send out um, a box of Happy Meal. Anyway, so I had some scraps, um, bits of paper and stuff that I had used and had sent um, the papers to my patrons. And I had some left over. I thought, you know, I loved the raw edge of it. Like it's it's like a handmade paper and uh, just kind of grungy and scrungy, which I love. Hmm. So put that down and then layered this image here from Pam. And uh, I think this is my Porch Prince butterfly. So the prompt for this page was peaceful. And I decided to go ahead and make it a two page spread because um, I wanted to use the fabric and I wanted to use the flower, but I didn't want to cover up this fabric. I had used this fabric in one of my days back here, um, from the, the beginning of the month or yeah, middle of the month. And I just used it to cover, you know, the, the book page. So it's kind of in the background and um, so this time I wanted to use it more um, so you could see the pattern on there. And then I've got this um, scripture here from Calico Collage. Uh, this is from Linda Israel. She had a dancing dragonfly kit last month, or last month, last year. Uh, this piece, uh, little tag here is from <gasps> Courtney Diaz, I believe, from her Patreon. This is my porch prints. And then um, I had a journal that I made um, last year with my a pair of my husband's old jeans. And so I've just kind of been using pieces of it here and there and uh, just kind of layered that there. A little bit more of that flower fabric for that tag. Uh, this is Memento for day 26. And again, I just used lots of scraps to do some collaging. I had um, this bird that I stamped onto a jelly print that I made. Here's that uh, little stamp washi from Beth's Happy Mail. I put that there. That was the day that I got the Happy Mail. And then, yeah, just scraps of ribbon and lace kind of down there. And then this one is stripped back is the name of uh, the prompt for the 27th. And I have a gardening book that I just cut out a uh, image of flower and I want to just keep it very simple. I had this um, quote here from Einstein that says everything should be made as simple as possible but not simpler. So that was kind of I wanted that to be um, front and center on the page so I just did a little bit of paint with a stencil in the background and then dry brushed some paint kind of over that brown piece of packing paper on there just to kind of soften that a little bit. And uh, yeah, not super stripped back, but for me, <laughs> for me it was. 
uh, this is stenciling for day 28 and I did I had a, st a stencil from Linda Israel it's a rose um, not a print but you know what I mean pattern that I did with some distress ink um, the pages then I put down some tissue paper glued that down some little scrappy bits these pictures are from my flowers in my yard actually and I had those on my uh, patreon earlier this year and then these are both from my patreon from July as well this is a picture of the first time I saw the ocean in 2019 so I made it to almost 50 years old without ever seeing the ocean but I live in Iowa so <laughs> it's a long ways to the ocean uh, yeah and then I just this says summer when the days get longer the stars shine brighter your hair gets lighter the water is warmer the music gets louder and life gets better so, and I, I wanted to use these pic these pictures here because I love the colors. I was really drawn to that yellow. And so it's, yeah, not super cohesive, but I definitely wanted to get the pictures um, in my journal for the month of July. So, and then that's where I left off. So I'm a couple days behind, I need to catch up, but we've kind of had a long week here. We um, actually had to have one of our dogs put down, um, Wednesday night like he just got super sick like really sick and um, ended up at the emergency vet and they were like yeah he has a huge mass in his in his belly and it's spread to his lungs and probably his he had no white cell count so they thought maybe you know it spread to his bones it, I, it's weird because he was perfectly fine up until a couple days before that so it was just Kind of crazy the last few days um so anyway i haven't been journaling the last few days so i need to get those pages kind of caught up and oh janet you grew up with the ocean oh. yeah that's i think it's it's one of those things that um i wanted our kids to see it you know before they <laughs> had half their life gone and hadn't ever seen the ocean um, so we actually took a trip in 2019 to see my grandma. She was um, actually just passed away uh, this past December. And I wanted them to see her before she passed away again. Because um, they had, you know, of course seen her earlier in their lives. But I wanted to, them to see her again before she was gone. Just kind of make some more memories. So we went to Florida and got to spend some time with her. And one of the things we did was... To take a trip to the ocean so it was very fun and it was it's so cool too because i i didn't warn them that the water was salt water so i don't remember which if it was my son or my daughter um that got it in their mouth they were like oh like oh yeah i forgot to tell you don't get the water in your mouth because it's nasty so yeah you're lucky that you grew up next to the ocean that's it's a cool thing to be able to just go visit and it's so peaceful and we went um, on a weekday, so there wasn't a lot of people there. So it was it was fun. Got sunburnt, which we're all um, very pale. And so we have to use like 100 SPF. And then even after like an hour, we're still gonna burn. <laughs> it's horrible, so. Oh, okay. So I got, the last thing I just wanted to share is I got, I went to the thrift store yeah, nothing like the sound of crashing waves. Exactly. You hear about it. Like I, um, I have a um, playlist on my um, phone that has like spa type music or whatever. And that, um, the crashing wave sound, that's exactly. Like it's so peaceful. Oh, I love it. So I went to the thrift store um, again because I am like obsessed because I just think oh maybe they'll have more goodies today maybe they'll have more goodies today and they always do so I just kind of want to share a couple things and I got this really pretty um I don't know what this it's like a doily I guess I don't know but it was a, marked at a dollar and they had uh 50 cents off of the pink labeled things and there was actually another one I might have put it away already. It's like a white, more of a white color. 
And I thought, well, those are going to be really pretty to layer on the front of a journal or even cut up, which I'm going to have a really hard time doing that. <laughs> and then use these little um, pieces as little decorations on pages. So I thought that was really pretty. And <laughs> the, the people at the checkout when I go to the thrift store, they always kind of look at me kind of weird, like, why would you buy that, you know? And it's so random. This time I didn't have super random stuff, but the last time I was there, I bought, um, I don't know if I have it handy here. Oh, here it is. I bought this little booklet and it was like 10 cents, I don't even remember. No, it was in, it was actually in a uh, baggie with some ledger paper uh, that I had bought. And so this was in there, but they looked at it and they were, then they looked at me and they were, I could just tell they were like, what the heck? What are you going to do with that? <laughs> but I wanted it because I liked the size of the paper and I wanted it to use in my signatures. And you know, you're just going to cover it up anyway. But yeah, it's funny. They always look at me kind of funny when I come up there with some of the most random stuff. I got this little tiny journal and has these uh, the lined pages, which I thought would be really cute to use in my signatures, but then also just like as a journaling card. So that was a good, good score for 10 cents. And then I found this little tin of bird and nest stickers. And um, I thought it was really fun. Just kind of some different bird images and they look like they look like little journaling cards kind of they're layered with the postage stamp and stuff on there it's fun because I almost looked you know looked past it I didn't open I wasn't going to open it I was like mm, that's weird then I opened it and I was like oh these are cute little images so I'm glad I glad I opened it up but I thought those were cute and I don't use birds enough in my journals and I love birds so this is perfect. I've tried to take pictures of the birds that we have because we get some really pretty ones, but yeah, kind of, I'm struggling with those pictures. The flowers and stuff I can do pretty well, but so yeah, that was kind of a fun, fun little score. And I thought the tin was really pretty too. So it was a quarter. It's like, well, heck yes. Then I got this burlap ribbon it's really wide so you can kind of see it's like the the width of my journal and it was marked at three dollars but then they, it, they had it pink so I got it for half price and I thought that would be really pretty to use like on the front of a journal um to layer on pages stuff like that so I've got the the one that's more narrow but I liked this because it was wider so And then I just got some doilies. So I love when they put doilies together in baggies because you get the whole baggie for $1.50. There's multiple ones in there. Yeah, you like to use burlap. I know, I love it. It's so like earthy and natural and just like, I love it. And they're doilies. You never know what they're going to have. The last time I went, the last time before this one, um, they didn't have very much, so as far as the doilies go, but this time I got some really pretty ones. And this one, it's like um, starched or whatever, kind of on the outside. It's very stiff, so I thought that would be pretty on a journal. And this one I love. I actually haven't even opened these. There's two of these, which I thought these were really pretty. This one's a little bit darker, and it's stiffer, too, like maybe they... Um, you like doilies? Me too. I love them. I'm just, I'm obsessed. Every time I see a baggie of doilies, I'm grabbing it. <laughs> Even though I went over, I, I had a budget of what I wanted to spend. Every time I go to the thrift store, I, I take, I have a budget set. I'm like, okay, I don't want to spend any more than whatever. And I was already over that, but I'm like, I have to have these doilies. So I went over by $3, but that's okay. So these are really fun, kind of different. 
than um, some of the other ones. I liked the shape of them. With, they almost look like flowers. So, and then this really pretty kind of flower guy in the middle. Hi, Janet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I uh, love doilies. They look like the ones that you put under candlesticks. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, like, and then you set the candlestick on top of there. That's probably, could be, and there's two of them too, which was like, made me happy. I loved this one. It's got, I don't know what it's got, kind of some, you know what, it looks like wax actually. It's kind of crunchy and um, feels waxy. But I loved it because it's not perfect, so. And again, it's different than, you know, like the typical doily that you see. It's got this really cool um, kind of cotton, not cotton, like a linen maybe. It's kind of a linen texture. And then this green one, which I'm not usually drawn to green, but I was like, you know what? I, I know I'll have the perfect place to put that at some point. So this one is really pretty. Oh, love it. And I love to, like, I don't have to, like, tea stain or coffee dye any of these. Like, they're already, they already look like they have been. It's, it's strange. I always wonder where these things come from, too. Like, who had these? And what were they used for? <laughs> Anybody else do that? This one's pretty. It almost has, like, a pink tone to it. This one had, this, these bags really had some different styles of doilies in them. So pretty. Oh, here's another one. Like those two that I had before. I love the, the and don't, it looks like they spilled coffee on them because it's like striped. It's not the same color everywhere. It's interesting. And then I wonder like, how old is this stuff too? <laughs> oh, we'll never know. Here's another green one. So that's, like I said, green is, is usually not a color that I gravitate towards, but maybe in the springtime I'll have a good use for that. And then this one here, pretty. Almost looks like a spider web. Love it. So I got those little doilies. Oh, here, here's the other one. Uh, okay, I guess this one was the lighter, the lighter of the two. So, um, Got the darker one. And I don't know what these are. What Anybody know what these would be? Like a placemat? It doesn't look, some of the edges are kind of frayed, but it doesn't look like it was attached to anything else. I don't know. Oh, your mom and your grandma had doilies all over the place. Yeah, okay, so what did they use the doilies for? Because I, I either I, did, I didn't pay attention if my grandma used them or, or what, or maybe she just didn't use them. Maybe like put things on like on a table, like pictures. Coffee dye that one and make it a flower on the cover of a journal. Which one are you talking about, Janet? To coffee dye. They went under all their knickknacks, yeah. You're talking this one? Coffee day this one? Yeah, photos, yeah. Or coffee day this one. Cause it, a lot of them actually look like flowers. The one that looks like a flower and was stained. Oh, this one? This one? That's a good idea. And it looks like it's, oh no, that's just a little bit of fiber in there. I was like, it looks like it's falling apart, but nope. Just some fiber. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should do that. I could dye it pink. <laughs> I could dye it pink and put it on my pink and black journal. But I, don't, I like the, the coffee dye kind of look too, so I don't want to ruin it. But I do have two other ones, I guess, so. Oh. 
so yeah any ideas on these these were marked a dollar also and they were they're pink so um they were 50 percent or yeah 50 cent so any idea what they would use these for same thing like under knickknacks and stuff it's so pretty And then, oh, I got a couple more doilies popping in here. The chair is squeaky. <laughs> squeaky noises. At least my dog has quieted down now. Now she's, yeah, I'm talking about you, Missy. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was cool. Um, so I had, I bought a journal from Nadia and I have a, um, video flip through of that on my channel. It's a little tiny journal. And on the inside of it, she had this um, doily and it was really like stiff. And I don't know if she um, used like a starch on it or whatever. Um, for you, it would go under a bowl on a dining room table. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that would be really pretty. See, okay. Yeah. I just, I don't use doilies like around my house. They're so pretty. I just, never knew what to use them for. <laughs> um, so yeah, when I saw this one, I was like, oh, that reminds me of that journal that she had made and put this on the inside of it. So like it's around the signature. But then I started looking at it and I was like, oh, you know what, I could take these apart and use them each as little individual flowers. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this one for. So got some random strings, but it's, it also is kind of crunchy. Like, do they use starch on, on doilies to make them, um, like stiffer so they don't, so they lay better? That's almost what it acts like. Cause not all of them, not all the edges are stiff. So it's very interesting. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use that one for yet. I kind of like the idea of cutting them apart. And then I was like, well, what am I going to, I have, you know how you accumulate stuff and you're like, okay, I have so much stuff. I have to stop buying things. But then you go to the thrift store and you find more, <laughs> more things. Yeah. And do individual flowers. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would go, um, like the, being able to use it for more projects than just one journal. So ephemera. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Janet. Yeah. He was, we have two dogs, um, so now we just have our female left and we're kind of hoping that she is gonna be okay. So, so far she's she's been okay. I think she's a little like confused, but um, yeah, so they're um, older. So um, the male was 11 and, she, and the, our female is 12. So um, yeah, it's weird how, how they can, you know, dogs, we've had a lot of dogs um, over the years and you know it's interesting how I've had ones that will get are you know they're not very old and they get sick and and then there's you know sick I had one that had cancer um, but it she had lost weight and like she was sick but she wasn't really like suffering it was really it was strange we think she had cancer I guess we didn't actually we weren't actually able to get her diagnosed but you know she lived for two years before she really started like getting sick and where her quality of life was bad. Um, but with him, you know, it's like, we had no idea. I mean, when we took him into the ER, the vet ER, um, they were like, he's really sick. Like he can't even really oxygenate. Like he wasn't, he was, it breathe, we thought he had a vi like a stomach virus, you know, because dogs get that sometimes. Um, and, but yeah, they were like, yeah, we need to stabilize him. I was like, what? And then they just started telling us all these things that was that were wrong with him, and we're like, what? <laughs> like, what is happening right now? It was we we went from, okay, he's he's perfectly fine. He's got a stomach virus. To he's got a huge mass in his belly that's probably cancer and metastasized to his lungs and probably everywhere else. And 
and he probably won't even survive um, the testing we need to do to figure out what's actually, you know, going on. And that his prognosis wasn't good after, you know, like even after they did all that, he, he they, they couldn't do anything to get rid of the cancer, I guess. So it's like, okay, well, <laughs> all right. But I don't know. I was, we were talking about it with our kids last night and you know, it's, it's kind of a blessing, you know, when they go quickly like that, because it's so hard to watch your dog struggle. And then you're, then, you know, you have to be the one to make that choice. And I swear dogs will live forever if they're, they're sickly, but man, they just, they live forever. And you're like, I don't want to make that choice, but then you have to make the choice. And anyway, it's just, we were talking to them last night about it. And it's like, you know what, at least he went quickly and he didn't suffer and there was none of that. And so it, it, we're trying to just kind of focus on that. So, but yeah, I appreciate your, appreciate your hugs, Janet. That's very nice of you. <laughs> and definitely pray for our female. Her name's Jaden. So hopefully she, we have to actually go away um, next weekend and we have to board her by herself and she's never been by herself. So I don't know how that's going to go. So I'm very nervous about that, but we'll see how it goes. So anywho, this was a, another girlie that I got. Um, this one itself was 50 cents and I splurged on it because I loved the star pattern on it. I just thought that was really pretty. Splurged 50 cents, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And I grabbed this, which, okay, so this is probably another one of those things that you would put on your table to put a bowl on or whatever. I don't know what the front, oh, here's the front. But I thought, this is really cool looking. I thought it would make a really pretty journal cover. Um, and it looks like, it reminds me of like cross, like a cross stitch, um, like fabric, those open little squares. And then they just did like embroidery or something on it. It's really pretty. So I thought that would make a cool journal cover. But again, it's going to be like a huge, <laughs> a huge journal. But maybe what I'll do is like fold it, fold it in and make like a tall, skinny journal. Make little pockets. And then I can decorate the front. I don't know. Yeah, I got them at, at a thrift shop. Yeah, it's a, um, they um, supply, they use the money to supply Bibles to uh, different countries around the world. And oh, a wraparound. That's a good idea. Yes, that's a good idea. That'd be cool. So yeah, that's where I got it, it was the the thrift, sh the thrift shop. And we have, there's two of them actually in, in the town. And, um, but the one is more like high end stuff. And the one where I got, I get all this stuff is from, um, the one that gives the Bibles to, uh, different countries. And I love supporting that kind of, that kind of mission. So definitely some good finds. And like I said, the prices are crazy. And the other place is just so much more expensive, so. And then I found this, which I don't know if this is going to come up on the camera very well. The extra can be used as a tuck in the inside. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. See, I never would have thought of that. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> so this, again, just a doily. Um... And it has like a flower pattern, which is not, I don't know, can you see it? A little bit. Um, but I thought, again, that'd be pretty to go. Actually, what I thought about doing with this is using it as like a page in the signature. Um, kind of wrap, wrap, a, wrap a signature inside of it. So, and it's kind of crunchy. If it folds into the inside, you have instant tucks. Yeah, yep, exactly. So are you saying like 
fold it up this way and then wrap around. Yeah, I they had so many good things. I was like, my cart just throwing stuff <laughs> in there. I was like, oh, and I got there right as they opened too, which I've noticed that that's the thing to do. So if you cut it in half, you can use it as a fabric. Look. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, Janet. Yes, I'm still live. I wasn't going to be on very long, and then I've just been talking and showing some um, thrift store stuff that I had gotten. Thank you. Yeah, my first live. I know. I was like, okay, I'm so nervous. I don't know. I was, I was messaging Janet. I'm like, okay, how do I do this? So, I don't know. And then I never did figure out how to flip my camera horizontal so we're vertical and yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> All right, so this, this was part of the Dutch lace stuff that I found, and it's a balance, um, and it has like this mesh stuff here, so. And oh, Janet, thank you for the happy mail. I went, I um, opened it earlier uh, in the live. That was the first thing I did, so thank you. It was very kind of you. So this is a balance. It's so long, too. I, I it's, it's massive, but I started taking, um, the, okay, I need to get this stuff off my desk here. But look at this, you guys. I saw this and I was, and I paid $8 for this um, whole balance. It, like I said, it's huge. But $8 is all. And it's, it's beautiful. Dutch lace, something or other. So I started kind of taking it off of the fabric so I can get it separated. And um, uh, I cannot wait to use it. I mean, I looked at this and I was like, the first thing I saw were the flowers. I was like, well, those are gonna be amazing ephemera. And then I was like, you know, you could take the whole, this whole um, section off with the flowers and then these little things, they almost look like leaves. Yeah, I think these are leaves. And I know, right, Janet? So pretty. And then they had another one that was even, um, it was a different kind of lace. I, I don't know, I have no idea, like the terminology or whatever, but it was in a baggie and it was $20. And I left that one because I was like, oh, I just can't justify that. Like that would have put me $20 over my budget. So I left that one, but I got this one and I love it. And so I thought I could, you know, cut it up and. Kind of use it for all different things. I can use it on the front of a journal. And then it has this really pretty scallop at the bottom, which I thought is also pretty and can be used separately. So I, but it's massive. So I think I'm gonna cut it up and like send some happy mail, send it in some happy mail packages because I'm like, I, I will never be able to use all of this. So, so fun. And then I didn't know like with this, this mesh stuff that it's attached to. Um, like that would be pretty on the front of a journal, but there's just not like a whole lot of it, but I could use like pieces of it. So, and this um, part at the top too, you know, that the curtain rod goes into, I thought I could take that apart and it would, you know, make it wider. So yeah, it's, I, this was probably the, my, favorite thing I found in that whole trip because I have never yeah I've never had anything like this and so it was yeah I, I was like oh I have to have that it's eight dollars but it's massive and I could I, get so much use out of it I guess when I when I'm at the thrift store I try to like think about okay how could I use it don't just buy it because it's pretty I mean sometimes you buy it because it's pretty but you want it to have you want to be able to use it and this I knew I could get a lot of different uses out of so and I loved the top scallop how it's got this really pretty um like open fringe thingy here yeah clusters yep exactly yep and all the different layers like it's just there's so many different individual pieces like I can use this 
as a trim. I can, you know, cut that off and use it as a trim. This one here is a really pretty, like, star, um, I don't know, star-shaped pattern. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just, like, it's so pretty. So much potential. So I snapped that up, and I was like, well, I, I, I was pretty sure I was already at my budget. Um, but this, yeah, it was worth it, so. So yeah, those are my little thrift store finds. Yeah, to see it close up, yep. Yeah. Oh, the gel plate? Oh, like as a, um, use it like a stencil? Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, I have plenty. I mean, seriously, like, it's like a humongous wad of, <laughs> of lace. So, coffee dyed paper. So I could totally cut, you know, cut some of it off and use it on the jelly plate. It'd be really pretty then. It'd be really colorful. I could use it in my pages too. So good ideas. I never would have thought to put lace on the jelly plate. I'm totally going to do that this week. I have my um, Patreon. I've been working on my collage sheets for my Patreon for August. And I have some more um, pages that I made on the jelly sheet that I was going to give to them this month. And I think I might um, do this, do that little experiment and see if they turn out and put those on there too. So much fun, love it. Janet makes yummy coffee dyed paper. <laughs> yeah, you know, I made some coffee dyed paper. Actually, this journal, um, my little neutral journal that I have, um, I, coffee dyed a lot of the papers inside of there. Okay, this big wad of lace. I'm gonna get rid of it here. I coffee dyed a lot of the papers in here. And do you guys, and I don't know, maybe I let them sit too long, but they smelled horrible. Like, very acidic smelling. So I think next time I might do tea. But then I also saw Meg Journal's, um, she just dyed her papers um, like they were already in the journal and then she just used a paintbrush and just, so it, they did, it didn't sit that long. So I'm guessing I, I let them sit too long, but they were just yucky. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, the coffee dyeing is something that I've been trying to learn. <laughs> I'm trying to learn a lot of things. Janet, you use tea. Yeah, because then the tea doesn't smell. And my husband, um, Actually, he drinks a lot of iced tea. And so I have um, the tea bags left over. I just kind of save them. And um, I think, I don't know though, if you can use them. Can you reuse already used tea bags <laughs> for dyeing? Or is it better to just use the, um, like a fresh one? You can add baking soda to the coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe that's what I needed to do. Cause it was just like, Oh, it was so bad. Like it almost smelled, I don't know. You know, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna gross anybody out, but it was just bad, it was yuck. So what I ended up doing is I had some um, thieves, stuff that I used to like clean my hands up, which I got that idea from Linda Israel. And I don't smell it anymore. And actually I, I smell the thieves more than anything. Um, so that's good that it went away because that smell was horrible. At least two or three times you can reuse them. Okay, cool. Well, I, I've been saving them. He saves them for me and then I just put them in a little thing and let them dry out. And I thought, um, I saw somebody use the tea leaves to make paper. It might have been, um, oh, her YouTube is Treasure Books. Uh, I'm trying to think what her name is. Um, I think that's where I saw it, where she, she actually used tea leaves, um, to make like a faux homemade paper. It was a really, really cool idea. Use the used tea bag to dab onto the paper. Oh, that's a good idea. Yep. So do, do you feel like it gets, do you feel like the coffee dye and the tea dye give the same color or is, are, is the tea 
lighter because I don't have anything tea dyed yet. I haven't done it yet. I'm, I sat down and I made, it was like a two day process. I made so many coffee dyed papers. <laughs> so I'm still kind of trying to use them up, but treasure books did that. Yeah. Tea leaves. Fed. Yes. Yes. Yep. That's the one. Do you know what her name is? Is it not? I, I, for some reason I'm thinking it's Nadia, but I love her channel. I love her videos. She's funny. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm going to try the tea dye and see kind of how that works. Do you have to let the tea, the paper sit in the tea like you do the coffee? Natasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I was close. <laughs> I had the first two letters, right? Ooh. And I did like the idea too of coffee dyeing stuff like as you go, like what Meg Journals was doing because, um, you know, then you can add it, add more of it. It's not like a whole, cause seriously, it took me two days for stuff to dry and we're in the middle of summer in Iowa. So it's very, very humid, but I'm in our basement and it's really cool down here. It's always freezing. And it took those papers forever to dry. I had to end up getting my um, heat tool to help them dry. Tea dyeing is the same as coffee dyeing. Okay, so it gives the same color then. Yeah, I think I would rather do tea dyeing because, um, well, unless I just did it wrong and that's why they smelled so bad because I didn't, I let them sit too long, so. Cool, well, I'm definitely gonna try that. I have all these ideas now of projects for this week. With the tea dyeing, it's nice to let the tea dyeing sit on top of the papers. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so another question. So you guys were talking about using that lace as, um, like, with the, on the tea dyeing or coffee dyeing on the papers. So I think Natasha, when she did hers, um, I think it was her that did it. I think she used a placemat. But, so you do it, you take, you dip it in the tea and then you set the paper aside and put the lace on top of it? Or do you soak the lace in the tea and then put it on top of the paper? And then they need to dry completely, okay. Yeah, you learn to leave them out to dry with a stencil over them. Okay, so you dip the paper and then put a stencil or whatever you're wanting for the pattern on top of it and let it dry completely, okay. Yeah, I have, so now my brain is like, okay, I cannot wait to start all these projects. Soak your paper and place a stencil on top. Let it dry like that, okay. Well, I'm totally gonna try that because I loved how, when she used the plastic placemat, it had like a sunflower print on it. It was so pretty. Like magic, yes, <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, it is 4:36, so I think I'm gonna probably get off of here and get supper started. Stencil and or lace, plastic placemats, etc. Okay. And I have looked for plastic. Like every time I go to the thrift store, I looked for plastic placemats that had that like open design. But I, so far, I haven't found any. I looked at Walmart too, but Walmart doesn't really have a whole lot, so. We're all going to try that tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, everybody will have to share their, what, what their projects turn out like in the um, Facebook group. Yeah. Thank you, Janet. I'm glad that you were able to pop on. Oh, the Dollar Tree has them. Okay. Yeah. See our Dollar Tree that we have close to me is, um, really they don't have a very good selection so but I try um, when we go to town <laughs> which is when we go to Des Moines um, there's actually several of them up there so I've tried to kind of hit those when we when we go up there and see if I can find any goodies so I'll have to go and next time we're up there and see if I can find some 
but that sunflower, I love sunflowers. And so that sunflower pattern, I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I need to try to find like a sunflower stencil or um, something like that, that I can use to make the coffee dye or the prints on there. So patterns, I guess would be. Sink mats, pot holder, shelf liners. Okay. See, I never would have thought of that. I just, yeah. <laughs> I'm always amazed at the ideas that you gals have. Stuff I never would have thought about. All right, well, I'm gonna get off of here. I appreciate everybody for being here with me and chatting with me, it's really fun. And now I've done my first one, so I feel like at least I know kind of <laughs> how things work a little bit better. I've got to figure out the horizontal camera thing and get that figured out for next time. They're all plastic with open designs. Okay. Yeah, we all inspire one another. That's exactly right. Yep. That's what I've really enjoyed about all of the, the gals that go live and do all the different things. There's, oh, there's so much inspiration and, um, it's almost, it's almost overwhelming because then your brain starts going and you're like, oh, I need to make that. I need to make that. That's a great idea. Let's write that down. <laughs> I have a notepad full of ideas that when I watch lives and videos and stuff, like regular videos that I, when I find ideas, I'm like, oh, write it down, write it down, write it down. And then I just need to go back and do them. So yeah, my first live. <laughs> I had three Janets attend. Yeah, exactly. It's the Janet party. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yes. Three very nice ladies. So I appreciate you guys. All right. Oh, and, and Carol. Yep, Carol is here. And I hope that the chat um, stays. I, I'm, I'm guessing that that's like a setting that you can that you can um, click on for the chat to show up in the replay because um, I've seen some live video replays that didn't have the chat and I'm always like, especially when you know people give really great ideas and suggestions and stuff and it's in the chat and then you miss it. So that way I can go back and write them all down. <laughs> Ooh. All right guys, thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday and yeah. And the links too. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So hopefully I can get it saved and I don't have to, I don't mess that up. So, <laughs> oh, bye everyone. Thank you. Have a good rest of the weekend. <laughs>